Now let's have a brief look at the package cohesion principles. Um, now for this we, we can have a, a, a bucket of classes, or just a library of classes, but we need to organize them in some fashion uh, so they can be um, usefully deployed. So the classes are necessary but they're insufficient for organizing a design. So with larger granularity of packages we have to consider um, how are we going to bring order to that? And how do we choose which classes belong in which systems? So we have the three principles that will guide us. One is the um, reuse, release reuse equivalency principle. And that essentially is when you release a package, you release the entire package. And that package should reflect um, those um, related classes or components that are reused together. All right, so the, the, the long story about it is we want a sensible package. So a reusable element, be it a component, a class, a cluster of classes, cannot be reused unless it's managed by a release system of some kind. So you've got to package it up and release it. Users will be unwilling to use the element if they're forced to upgrade every time the author changes it. All right, now, if it's a necessary change they're dependent on, yes, they probably will. But if it's something in the package that changes frequently and they don't use it, then the question is, why should that grade? So even though the author's released a new variation of his release reusable element, he must be willing to support and maintain the old version while everybody gets around to upgrading to the new version. Now we see this with um, Microsoft's operating system where um, in, in larger organizations particularly, it takes such an effort to upgrade that uh, people are unwilling to change the operating system. Um, the, the, you know, the, the, it's not just they change the operating system, they, gotta, they have to update all the software that is uh, compatible or incompatible with the, uh, the operating system. So a shift from Windows XP specifically to uh, operating system came after Windows XP was a fairly significant shift because all of the software had to change as well and a large number of organizations were just unwilling to do it and of course now um, Microsoft has decided to no longer support uh, Windows XP so organizations are faced with the cost either of maintenance or of doing the upgrade. The second principle in this is the common closure principle and that is classes that change together belong together. Right. Now this takes a little bit of foresight and uh, I don't know, predicting the future. What is it you expect to change? Um, now that is um, uh, is a reasonable question. You could reasonably ask, well, how would I know that? Well, you don't. But the, you you really could think about it a little bit. What is likely to change in this? How is the business likely to change? Uh, is, is the uh, number of users likely to change? Is it likely to go out to different divisions? Is it, is it uh, what kind of enhancements are they likely to, to want as the business moves? These kind of things you can think about a bit and think, well, okay, um, if there were these changes, and we now have an, enough history to be able to predict a certain amount of this, if these things change, what else is affected? Now, the whole idea there is keep the things that are likely to be affected at the same time or by, by uh, a related change in the same package. So that you're not, you know, one little change doesn't set off a whole lot of uh, different package upgrades. Now the last uh, principle is the common reuse principle, um, which is that classes that aren't reused together shouldn't be in the same package, right? which is, I guess, an inverse of the first one, which is the release equivalency package. Uh, principle. So a dependency on a, on a package is the dependency of everything within it. Uh, so if you have things that are unrelated in the package, what's the point of that? Take them out. So the summary of the package cohesion principles then, we have uh, the um, reuse equivalency principle, we have the uh, common closure principle and the common reuse principle.